so we are going to start with three horizontal arrangements and we are going to use the fill parent for the height and fill parent for the width for all three okay now now that that is done we are going to put vertical arrangements inside the first two horizontal arrangements put two vertical arrangements in each horizontal arrangements and then we are going to fill parent for the height and the width now that that is done we make sure that they all are aligned towards the center for both align horizontal and align vertical so I'm just going to change that for all four vertical arrangements I'll, I had already uploaded the two images that we are going to use in this project and we just need to insert an image in the first vertical arrangement and the one under it so for the first vertical arrangement the first image we'll use the ugali okay and we'll change the height to 20% and the width to 30% just to make it fit and then we'll put the scale picture to fit so yes and you do the same for the second picture for the rise now this will be 20% and the width is 30% next we are going to use the labels to name the food items so for the first label call it uga and skuma and for the second label we we'll just use okay now that you've renamed them um we're going to now to the second vertical arrangement so we're going to use a label first to show the price and then we're going to need a horizontal arrangement for the quantity for both of them we're going to put in the height to fill parent and width to also fill parent for both okay so for this label it will show the price so like this one will be 150 okay then now we can put for the quantity we're going to need a button a label and another button so this button too it will now be the minus and button one will be the plus and this label want it to say zero and we'll change the font size so it can appear bigger okay remember to put line horizontal center the line vertical center so it can appear a bit neater okay so now we're going to do the same for the second one we're going to need a label here and a horizontal arrangement under that so this we change the height to fill parent and for the horizontal arrangement we do the same okay now insert the button and the label and another button and we just do the same now that we're done with that now we'll come to this third horizontal arrangement and 
we need to align so the, oh, oh, align horizontal will be right and this one will be center so we need two labels one to see total and one to be the price so this one will see total okay and this one will be the price We also need uh, another button up here for this will now say buy. Okay. Make sure to align the screen right so it can come here. Okay. Now we go to the back end. For the third horizontal arrangement, the height should be twenty percent so that the words do not crowd here so let's go to the blocks we're going to need to code for the first two buttons then the rest will just duplicate and you'll see why so so button one was for the add for the addition right so you come to button one and when button one is clicked we need to change now label four you need to change this from zero to one so we put the label set label text and we'll come here to come here to maths and use this block here and now we'll change we'll go to label 4 and label 4 dot text will add plus 1 okay okay so that means when we increase this when we press this button this will increase by one but we also want this total to become 150 so if we press it again it will become two and this will become 300 so you now so this will be label 7 and you come to label 7 say set label 7 to text and you use this math block for adding need to become label 7 dot text plus the amount now now it will be 150 yeah okay so this means that when we press this addition here this will increase by one and this will increase by 150 so now we want to set when we click this button this will decrease by one and this will also decrease by 150 so we go to the blocks go to label 2 so when label 2 is clicked we are going to need an if condition that will set this cannot be decreased if this is zero meaning you cannot remove this quantity from the cart if you have not placed anything so we are going to start with an if condition and use the if then else block so we're going to go to maths and use the greater or less than I'm going to use this and change this to greater or equal to sorry and we're going to say label 4 so unless label 4 is greater or equal to 1 or equal to 1 that's when we'll minus that unless this is 1 or more than 1 that's when it will this will work but if it's 0 it cannot less this and it cannot less this 
so you're going to set label 7 set label 7 dot text and we're going to use the minus block this one so you're going to go to label 7 dot text to minus now 150 So if if label four is zero, label seven will remain. So you set label seven dot text to remain what it is. So this will work for the total. We need another one for the quantity and you just repeat basically what you've done here, except now for label four. So if label four, so if label four is less than or equal to, you need the math block. This one. And they say label four dot text is greater than or equal to one. We're going to reduce label four. So we set label four dot text and we use the math block for minus and now label four will decrease by one. But if it's zero, label four will remain as label four, which is zero. So now you're going to duplicate this for the other two buttons. So you're going to start with label three. Label three will, will be the same as label as I'm sorry, button three will be the same as button one and button four. Will this will be the same as button two? We can just duplicate these two blocks. And change this to label six. But label seven will remain except this will be two hundred for the race and also duplicate this but this now I'll change to label 6 here I'll also change to label 6 this will change to 200 and we're done we're basically done with the back end now we'll run this through the AI companion and we'll see how it works mm -hmm.